How you doing guys? This is Joe with LVV. So we're here on a uh, Bay Marie call. One of these guys. And uh, the compressor is humming and then shutting off. A lot of times it's because the, uh, the capacitor is no good and it can't, uh, it can't start the compressor up and then drop out with the relay. So obviously they had this problem maybe before, so they put a three in one in. I don't have the uh, OEM parts, so what we're gonna have to do is probably do the same thing. This might be failed. So I'll, uh, we'll start her up and I'll show you exactly what, uh, you know, what type of sounds and what it's, what, what it's making. The diagnosis first. So you hear that? That's the compressor. Now that compressor doesn't sound too healthy, but uh, we'll see exactly what's going on. We'll change out the three in one, try to get it up and running for them, and then get the OEM parts and come back and put it together. So let's see. Let's see if this compressor is still in good shape. All right, so we're in the truck. We do have one. Okay, it's a one third, one quarter to one third, 120 volt. So we're gonna slap this in and see how that works. Let's hopefully, hopefully for them, it can get it up and going. Then we can uh, talk to them about, you know, they're really not supposed to leave these in. Um, even though the manufacturer over here of uh, Subco says, yeah, it's totally fine. But I've found that, you know, uh, it's good to put them in there and then put in the OEM parts back in. So let's slap this in and see, uh, see what's going on. Okay, so we're unplugged. Get some of these wire nuts off. I like to take pictures, make sure I know exactly what's going where. This is the power cord. So this is one leg. This is the other. And these prongs here is for start running common. See the diagrams right there. All right, you'll have the, the, the two power two power wires right over here. These two blacks. You can get them right here. The ones without the uh, spade connections. Yeah, these two is the power on one side, see. And then the other three, in case we run, you start your combo. Get a little bit more, uh, a little more meat on this. Let's see, let's see what we can do here. Why not some this? Alright, so we got it tied in. Let's see. Let's plug it in and see how it works. And there you go. What was it? It was this capacitor right here. Well, what this, this is a three in one. Mm -hmm. So either the, the relay. Right. Alright. Uh, or the capacitor, or even the even the uh, over limits. The, it is it's a three in one. It's got three components all in one. Yeah, yeah. So most likely, probably the, the capacitor is no good, which is 
built in right here. Mm -hmm. Then you have an over limit, and then you have a, a, a really in the also. Any so, of those could have went. Okay, so like probably all the other work that you did just kind of blew the old work. Old, you know what I mean? Overworked it, or it's just oh no, like no, kinda... no. It's just this was probably here. This is old. Yeah. You know, all okay. the extra stuff that I did here, you know, just helps it. Okay. Vacuuming it down, putting a new strainer in there, put a brand new refrigerant in there, right, vacuuming cool. it down to a good uh, micron and everything. Yeah, I, that I just helps it. Out. Something pretty simple, just because it was, you know what I mean? It's yeah, it's a component. Simple. A lot of times there's a component failure. Uh, All right, that capacitor. If it was the capacitor, the capacitor's got to ramp up the the uh, the current so it helps start the the compressor. If that doesn't happen, it's kind of like pushing against a wall that that doesn't move. Right. And you're like, Rrr! and then the over limit because it will get you know, either it will get too hot or the or the current will go too too high. Mm -hmm. Its job is to open up so it doesn't it doesn't break the compressor. Okay. So cool. so. One of the components was bad, and the other ones were helping it not break the compressor. Sick. Okay, so well, that's good. Yeah, good thing it wasn't the compressor. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know, it's always a good thing, you know. But this this machine has been problematic. I had a lot of issues with this thing. So. So far, sight glass is full. There you go. We're warm here, we're warm here. It's nice. Last time we were here, this was freezing up, meaning that there was not the moisture in the system, maybe the orf, you know, the capillary that goes runs back here and inside. Could be uh, could have been clogged or freezing. So, uh, so then this whole line would start freezing up, going all the way back. So we had a, what we did was we cleared everything here. We put a new strainer, all right. A new filter to opening up the system. And uh, I put a sight glass so I could really see what's going on over here. Make sure that uh, the refrigerant levels were okay. We don't have any uh, leaks. And it started working great. Then of course something like this, you know, goes on you. Listen, just like it's like a capacitor and a compressor or any type of split capacitor motor. Eventually they go. A lot of times it is the capacitor. So we'll talk to the we'll talk to the uh, the business owner see if they want to go OEM or they want to leave this here because that obviously has been there for a good couple of years. Let's we'll see what they want to do. Alright guys, thanks for watching and subscribe if you like. I'll keep throwing some videos out there. Alright guys, so we just left the uh, the bagel place. They decided to keep the three in one, not go with the original parts. So I took the serial number, the model and serial of the uh, of the unit. So if it ever does fail, alright, I'll have it uh, unstock and uh, I'll be able to get the parts that they really need. Okay, um, that happens a lot of times, you know, the, they just want to get back up and running as quick as possible and for as uh, affordable as possible and that's what we try to do for them all right that three-in-one should work well there's only a couple times that i've ever put a three-in-one and it didn't work just because the the current was too high on the over limit and it kept on popping and then i had to put the uh the uh, manufactured uh oem parts back but you know i'll probably say nine out of ten times that doesn't it doesn't happen okay so uh you know, stock those in your truck. They're really, really good. All right, and I, uh, I like to make these videos for some of the guys that are brand new that, you know, you go to school and you have a lot of knowledge, but, you know, the practicality behind it is is learned on site. So, uh, you know, these YouTube videos are great. I watch them all the time. A lot of these guys have really uh, amazing videos. So if I can help out and put out a couple of videos that can help somebody uh, that's just, uh, just starting out, that'd be cool. All right, talk to you guys later.